quieres comer? You want food? You want Disneyland? Yeah! <laughs> you want Disneyland? How do you even know what Disneyland is? What's Disneyland? Who's at Disneyland? Who's there? Who lives there? Huh? Taco, who lives at Disneyland? Who's to Disneyland? Yeah! Is it Donald Duck? Mickey Mouse lives. He <laughs> <laughs> was confused. Is it? Yeah, Mickey Mouse lives at Disneyland. You wanna go Mickey see Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Why would you want to destroy his heart like that? You know, you know we're not going to Disneyland today. We can. True. We have the passes. You wanna go? You wanna go, Mom? <laughs> Your mom hates it. She's never gonna go with this anywhere. <laughs> Hey, Ma, why do you hate it so much? I don't hate you. <laughs> See? That's the number one sign, guys. If your mother-in-law ever just, just goes, I'm done talking to you guys. She hates you. Hatred. Some might even call it racist. I don't know. I'm between the pasta. What are you I don't know what doing you with get. the they paper? Good. Now you're never going to put it through the slots. I think I'm going to get a salad. I'm trying to be a good boy. But the burgers look bomb. Or they sound bomb. I didn't see the pictures, but they. I know, but you crumpled it, man. You crumpled it, dude. Here you go. Okay, keep crumpling it. Then. It's on your side, mama. Don't don't throw it anymore, okay? Don't throw it on the floor. Okay. No, look at this. No, look at this. Good boy. Alright, so um, we're in a makeup store now because I've been thinking about putting on makeup for my Instagram photos so that I can look way better. So it seems like all the guys are doing it now. And Ma Bear is going to help me choose some makeup that, uh, or some foundation that goes with the, uh, the waterproof powder and also the eyelining uh, blush effect that we're trying to do. Is that, is that right, Mom Bear? Did yep. I say all the right terms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. I'm just kidding. We're here to help Mom Bear pick out a birthday present for her little sister. Yeah. She's super into makeup like you. Oh, she's way more into makeup. More than you? I already I'm not know. into makeup that much. But you always follow all these makeup pages. Yeah, but I'm not in, like I don't do it enough. What she's, are you looking for? A palette. What's a palette? This, like where it's different colors. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm trying to find her some cool colors. Oh, what's this one? It's goals. What's goals? That's what it says. Goals, literally like goals. <laughs> oh, goals. It's Sugar Rush. Yeah, I don't What do you look for in a palette? How do you know which one's the right just one? Just different colors, because I saw what colors she has. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get her stuff with uh, different colors that I think she doesn't have. I see. Yeah, she's really good at it. Do you think I should wear makeup? No, why? I don't know, I see guys wearing makeup all the time. Yeah. Do you want to wear makeup? I think I might need it. Because? My face isn't that good. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're already laughing. I'm not going to take you seriously. <laughs> God damn it. I was taking you seriously though. I was like, we can talk about it. Let's, let's do makeup. Fine, I'm going to just uh, hit up my homeboy, Brett man. Brett man, you teach me how to put on makeup because I know You've been wanting to hang out, so if you're watching this, let's go hang out and put makeup on each other. So, I don't know anything about makeup, but one thing I am a big fan of in makeup stores is their lighting. Their lighting is always on point. Like, if you look at the way things are displayed, there's like lights here, right? So it makes everything freaking pop. Like, every makeup store, even the makeup part of a department store I go into, is always like, pow! It looks dope, like just the way they light things. Cause like if you have this, right, you see how vibrant these colors are versus if it's not, like it's all blocked because it's not as vibrant anymore. There's so much light in there, just, you see everything. But I think that's so tight. And they even have displays like this where you got the square light so it can light up your whole face and you can even see like the light in your eyeballs. This is dope. These are the things I pay attention to just cause I like, I like displays. Cause sometimes you could have like a, like a mediocre product, but depending on the display and how you take pictures, it looks freaking sick. Look at this. 
Did you know that Dyson makes freaking blow dryers? So if you guys don't know Dyson, Dyson is like the Tesla or like the uh, Apple of like vacuums. So I've seen their commercials, like even their fans, they got like propellerless fans, like you can put your hand through it and won't chop your hand off. And I was just walking through and I see all these normal ass blow dryers and I see this one, I'm like, what, Dyson makes this? Look at this, there's nothing, there's no fans or anything. How does this work? Whoa. This is crazy. How does it do that? How does it do that? I got slobber all over the place. That's tight. I bet it's how it's expensive though. All Dyson stuff. Like you could buy a vacuum for like 500 bucks. But look at this. You put this on here. And I think uh, this helps you dry your hair because it blows air through all these little holes and helps comb it. Damn. Look at this, dude. When you go to like a normal guy store, or when you go on Amazon, I just buy like whatever's the cheapest. But they got so many different kinds. That's crazy. Damn. This is what happens when you go into a, like a girl makeup store. You just see things you've never seen before. Like, what is this? What is what? It's a hot tool? Wow. Good, like dry comb? Dry comb the hair. Damn, they got some dope stuff in here, man. Holy shit, look what makeup can do. You can go from someone that looks like they've been doing drugs their whole life to like a cheerleader. To someone that looks like they've never done drugs. Isn't that crazy? This is what makeup can do for you. She looks freaking possessed. Like you'd see her in like a scary movie and then she's in like Pitch Perfect or something. Makeup is insane. You just do this. That's all I gotta buy. Wonder what I would look like if I put some concealer on. That's crazy. Freaking the trickery. The trickery. Oh, they got guy stuff? Elvis. I relate to Elvis. People think of the craziest stuff. Look at this. Would you have ever thought you would need something like this? So that when you're hanging out in the living room that you would need to be in a fishtail. <laughs> this is straight up a whole rack of fishtails, dude. I didn't even know it was an industry. There's all these companies that make freaking fishtails. Never once was I ever in a living room and I'm like, oh man, I sure wish I could stick my feet in a furry fishtail. But now that I see it, I'm like, that does look pretty comfy. Look at how comfy she looks. I wonder if Pekka would want it. This guy's freaking out. Look at this dude. We're shopping with him. This little dude is out. So cute, me. I love looking at his fingers. Because they're all little. Look how little little fingers are. Cute little guy. With hanging feet. It's so hard to resist on our way back. We have to get some uh, 85 degrees boba action. Because it's in the blood, you know what I'm talking about? This time though, I'm trying to be good. So I got a medium instead of large. And then I got a, I got it with pudding. And then my bread got all these yummy freaking snackaroos. Look at all those breads in there. Ooh, zama, look at all that. Oh, flaky bread. Like where are you? I know you're kind of in trouble. Hey, you there you are. You want some juice? You want some juice? No, really? Mm. Are you serious? Want some? Come on. You want some juice? I cookies. We don't got no cookies, fool. <laughs> you crazy guy. You know what I got for dinner? Italian food. You know why? Because we were watching Goodfellas. And in Goodfellas, they were constantly making Italian food in jail in the beginning. At the end, when he starts tripping out, you know, he starts hallucinating about the helicopter. There's Italian food everywhere, and me and Mom are watching, we're like, it just starts to look so good. The only thing is, I'm like, oh, I need some homemade Italian food. That's what I need. Made with, like, uh, some grandma's love, you know? But we ain't got any Italian grandmas, so our, uh, our second best bet 
is to get some Italian food delivered. And I haven't had lasagna in a long time. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to get some lasagna. Get some root beer action in here. You know what I'm talking about? And what did you get, mama? I don't remember. You don't remember? No. I also got two meatballs. Hey. Hey, what is this? Pita bread? They don't got no pita bread there. Is that pita bread? Oh, they got two meatballs yeah, right there. Good. Oh, this place does look good. This place is legit. Look at that lasagna. Oh. Oh, you got um pasta. You got pasta. What kind of primavera pasta? Oh, oh that's a humongo. Yeah, you got a humongo. What is this? Oh, bread? Don't tell me it's garlic bread. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't you dare tell them. Can you open it for me? Is it garlic bread? Oh, I think. Oh, oh. No, don't tell them. It's garlic. Them. It's, it's freaking garlic bread. You. 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 Wrong movie. Wrong movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, this you. is that. Oh, no. That's analyze uh, this. this. Yeah. Damn it. True. Damn. This place lasagna is good, dude. I just tried some Marbury's noodles and it's primavera or something, but it reminds me of like chow mein. So it almost kind of reminds me of like when Italians first learned it from China and they just like in between Chinese food and Italian food kind of. But this is actually really good. Mommy, it's good, right? Mommy. This guy's so sweaty, look at his hairline. It's insane. All right, so I think Taika's really tired because he actually really wants to go to bed. It's not even eight o'clock yet. And usually we put him to sleep between eight and nine. Eight if he's really tired, but it's like 7.45 or something. Dude, look at all the balls that he brought over. For someone that wants to go to bed, you're sure energetic. Here's your blanket. Taika, here's your blanket. You ready to go to sleep? No. You don't want to go to sleep? No. Then why did you turn on the light? How did you turn on our TV? No. <laughs> Both of you guys are on onesies. How dare you tell me? I forgot what happened this morning, and you're like, how does a 35 year old man do this? And I'm like, look at you two. You yeah, two. You two are in onesies. How dare you even say that about me? What did, I, what did you do that I was like? I don't know. But you're like, I did something. You're like, how does a 35 year old man do that? Yeah, I remember that. You were like, I'm not 35 yet. Yeah. Hey, hey. Well, we're going to sleep. <laughs> was that a nod or a shook his head? I didn't ask you. Go get your blanket. Go get your blanket. Good boy. <laughs> Where's your other blanket? The gray one, your favorite one. Get it. Get it. Mama's gonna put you to sleep. All right, he's in this freaking castle now. Taika. Oh my God, Papa, Papa, you want candy? <gasps> yeah. Look <laughs> who came out of the hole. Mmm, wow. Mm. <laughs> mm. Just like a little gopher. See how much of a hassle it is to put them to sleep? This is what we go through every night. It's not like a step-by-step -step process. There's a lot of in-between steps. Hurry I mean, it's cute up. as fuck though. It's super cute. When you do this every single night, it gets old sometimes. Taika.
What did I tell you? What did mama tell you? What did mama tell you? Go get your blanket. Go get your blanket. Go get your blanket. <laughs> oh my god. This freaking this mofo. Okay. All of a sudden. <laughs> A little actor. All right, turn off the light. Not that one. No, no, no. It's, it's gonna too be too hot. hot. You're gonna sweat your ass off. We turn the heater on no, now. No, no, no. It's too hot. Go turn off the light tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Apaga la luz. Apaga la luz. Go. Apaga la luz. Go. Go, you little actor. The cell phone. Apaga la luz. Thank you. Okay, where are you? Just put him to bed. I was gonna start packing uh, my guns and stuff tonight. Cause I'm finally going shooting tomorrow. I'm trying to make it a goal, right? To shoot twice a year. I don't even know if I shot once this year, but maybe I have. I'm trying to make it a goal to shoot actually once a quarter, that'd be nice. Uh, but I am kind of tired, so I might just pack, pack everything tomorrow. Hold on, I'm trying to turn down the commercial volume. Yeah, but I'll just pack everything tomorrow. Because I do have a little bit of time in the morning before I have to go shooting. A lot of time. A lot of time. But um, you guys are going to see a lot of dope footage. I bought all these little mounts and stuff. So I can mount this GoPro to the rifle. And hopefully could get some really, really cool footage and vlogs. Whoa. My voice been cracking all day. I don't know why. Maybe I had a long JK News day. Uh, yesterday, so we've been talking a lot, but thank you guys for following me along this day Tomorrow's vlog should be super exciting. We're shooting doing all kinds of cool stuff I bought two more metal targets. So you should be, be able to hear bing 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 um, Yeah, and uh, oh Jason Chen's coming. That's gonna be fun because I think he, won't, he wants to buy a gun So he just wants to learn more about shooting and stuff and one of my body, uh, buddies is a cop, so I was like, oh, tomorrow would be the best day because I'm going camping with my buddy. And he's pretty much a borderline firearms instructor, so you'll learn a lot from him and what kind of weapons to buy. But thank you guys for following. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.